Okay. All right, I'm going to do a little video, a little unboxing of the, uh, I got batteries, uh, U-Back, and a couple other small items in here. They're batteries from uh, uh, Hobby King. Came in the mail a little while ago. I like to film these unboxings in case the, comes a, the box comes incomplete. This way they can't say you got it and didn't claim it. A little bit of packing material. There's the batteries. They're all there. Free batteries. This is probably the U-Back. And there's my connectors. And my my filter capacitor. So it looks like everything did come. Uh, these are LiPo batteries from Turnigy. And they are 2200 MAH 3 cell LiPo. That's the battery. And here's the U-Bet. U-Beck stands for Universal Battery Eliminator Circuit. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. It's not a U-Beck. This is a charger. Battery charger. you got to have a battery charger if you're getting batteries. So, that's it. Thank you. I was going through the package here, and I just now noticed that I indeed did get a U-Beck. It's a U-Beck buzzer, 3 amp, 5 volt, 6 volt. Uh, eliminator so I got I got everything okay what I got going on here now is uh, fitting things up I see the Eternity battery fits really nice this is one of their small compact models um, it's fitting on there pretty pretty well it's gonna it fits underneath my cover I already tried that that's the cover it fits underneath it um, I also got a filter capacitor. They say uh, these things are susceptible to brownouts or whatever, and when they do that, your 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 crap will crash. So what you want to do is you get one of these. It's, it's a filter capacitor, really. It's all it is, and you plug it into your negative and your positive post that you're not using over here. And as well, you get yourself something called a U-back. To power this multi Wii device, you, you use a separate power supply. Don't try to run it off your uh, your motor, your ESC. ESC has a U back. It has a back built into it, but it's not it's not really what I would trust. <laughs> anyway, here's the here's the U back. It's got a buzzer for low voltage. I, I understand from what I read about this particular model that the buzzer isn't very effective. But I don't care. It was cheap and it, it does what it's supposed to do. All the other reviews of it were, were okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, and then this. What we do with these <coughs> connectors. I think they're called JWT connectors. It's got three spaces, but only two pins. There's only two cables. So what I do is I take a take this piece, this black piece, in on my belt sander, and I just sand that unused one off so it fits real nice. I did the same thing to this one right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, anyway, that used to be three pins wide too, and it's only two now. So you make things fit nicely and remove all the weight you can that way. Uh, I've also got these battery connectors. They're, I forget what they're, JT30 or 60 or something like that. Some weird name. <laughs> I just got into this hobby not too long ago. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to get aerial video. But uh, these get, are going to get hooked onto one of these. And then, Max, stop. That's my dog trying to lick me to death. Uh, then that gets wired into the battery. But what I'm going to do is make a Y. I'm going to make a Y harness so I can plug my U back in one side of the Y and my craft in the other side. So I'll be using these and some wire. 
and making myself a high voltage, low voltage side. Uh, and basically that's that's the gist of it. I also want to say, uh, yeah, that I was when I, when I first started this video, I was spitting things up. But anyway, that's I, what I have figured out is the battery's going to go here. I'll probably use uh, some Velcro tape to hold it right there in place. Um, those are going to run that way. And these are going to run that way, and eventually they'll meet up. I hope. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll make a Y harness, like I said. I'm going to run one of the Y's to the, e to the ESC wires and the other Y to the Ubeck wires and then Ubeck is going to power that and battery directly is going to power the motors so anyway um, then when I get my receiver I, f I measured and stuff and it turns out the the uh, transmitter and the receivers when they come here the receiver it'll fit right in this space right here just beautifully uh, and hopefully that's uh, pretty much all I'm going to end up having on this thing and it all seems to fit underneath the cover really nice so so far so good okay I've been trying to figure out where the u is going to go and I finally came to the conclusion that there's not much room for it after you put the receiver in there so what I'm going to do is put a piece of Velcro on this side of it, a piece of Velcro on each one of my batteries on top, and we'll just slap it on top of the battery. No problem. Plenty of room for everything. This is one of my battery. This is my battery charger. I'm not sure what it's doing. I'm going to have to look it up online. But uh, it's charging the battery apparently. I hope. Uh, they didn't give me any instructions with that, so I'm going to have to look that one up and figure out exactly what the, the blinking green light means and the pulsing red light. Okay, I'm going to hook up the battery for the first time here. I just got done calibrating all the motors. Um, I don't expect anything to happen because I don't have a controller. I don't have a, a, a radio and a receiver on here. Um, I'm pretty sure that the motors are going to react somehow, but I'm not sure how. Hope Max, get back. Hopefully they'll just all jump around a little bit. Yep, yep, they all moved. Every last one of those motors moved a little bit. You can see the props uh, doing a little wiggle when I powered it up. I guess that means that they're all going to work, I hope. It's a good sign to see all the props wiggling anyway. Um, that's the first time it's ever beeped like that. Uh, when I hook it up to USB on the computer and use the interface and stuff, it doesn't make little beeping noises. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, here you can see I got my U my uh, UVAC hooked up. It's powering the board. And I got it's plugged in with a Y here and here. And that goes down to the ESC, and this goes to the board. But, uh, Max, get back. Anyway, that's it. Uh, the first power up, it actually did what it was supposed to do, I believe. And, uh, actually, the battery's not even fully charged. I haven't charged the batteries at all, so I'm going to unplug them before they do some damage. I did check them for voltage. They're all 11, 11 and a half volts, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, they are they are sitting they're on they're on their storage charge so I'm gonna unplug it and be done with this for now. Uh, here's the one last little detail I haven't shown yet. Um, it's the low battery voltage warning buzzer. Um, these batteries are obviously good, but here's how it acts when you first plug it in. That means the battery's good. Anyway, here it is one more time. That's what you plug into your uh, copter when you send it up. And that way, when the battery drops to a dangerously low voltage, 
those little puppies let you know even when you're half a mile away probably. A minute ago I mentioned that I uh, calibrated the motors. Uh, that's not really what I did. I calibrated the ESCs. Um, and that's the way you do that is you hook up the, the craft to uh, your computer with the USB and uh, they use this program right here. It's called Arduino. And you got to know a little bit about how to use it. And you got to go to what's called Config H. There you can define and undefine things. Um, that's how you set up your copter, basically. If you don't use this, you don't fly. Simple as that when you're playing with multi Wii. Uh, if you want to calibrate, what I did with, when I just called calibrating my motors, what I really did is go in here and I pulled way almost all the way down to the bottom of this list. And there's a place that lets you uh, calibrate your ESC safely. And it, it uh, what it does is, it's called the cat cannot fly mode. That's it right there. Define ESC calib cannot fly. Uncomment to activate. So what you do is if you're going to calibrate your ESC, click right there, backspace twice, boom, it's defined. So you go up here, it says verify. See where that says verify right, right there? Verify. And you hit that. That'll compile it. What this is doing is compiling. You watch your little green bar go across. If it makes it safely across without any messages down here, any bad messages, you've compiled. Binary minutes. It's successful. Okay. So now that I've compiled, I'm going to go upload to my craft. Uh, right now, I'm not hooked up. <laughs> so... If I hit upload, nothing's going to happen. But anyway, after you get done uploading, it'll 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 go to the green bar again down there, and you'll see it upload. And then on the craft, a red light will flash, and a green light will flash. It'll alternate between the two. And when it gets done, it'll do it in a pattern. And when it gets done, it'll just go back to the mode that it was in before. And then what you have to do is go back and undefine it. So you <laughs> hopefully your your cursor is still right there, and you just double slash it boom he takes the black highlight away it's no longer valid uh, you go back up here re-verify compile it again <clears throat> when it gets done compiling all this time you got your USB still hooked up to your craft and that's what it's done compiling then you go back and upload hit upload again See, you get the green bar. It's going to say it failed because my craft's not hooked up. But anyway, that's uh, that's how you do it. If you want to, okay, <laughs> yeah, serial port not found. Really, that's because it's not there. Okay, thanks for letting me know that. Anyway, that's how you compile and um, upload to your, from Arduino to your multi Wii. And the reason for doing that, once again, is things like ESC calibration. Once you do that, you hook your battery up, your motors are all, they'll all twitch a little bit before you get everything else running. I've managed to fit the cover on it. Uh, I think I found a way to arrange everything in there except the receiver so far. But uh, as you can see, the lights are on in there. That means the battery's hooked up. It's sitting there on its own power. Uh, getting the cover on is a major step forward to me, so... To see things in there doing things <laughs> anyway that's it so far